So yeah, I do love having my sheep nice. Ah! <laughs> Building and things like that. We got my two-year-old who knows how to start a quad bike right now. Hi hey everyone, my name's Alicia. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a bit new at this, so bear with me. Um, for those who don't know much about me, um, we ha are here on 10 acres in New Zealand where we do things from calf rearing, pig rearing, um, massive veggie garden, horse riding and everything else in between. Um, so this morning I thought I'd take you guys on like a feed my animals with me, a morning routine. Um, we've got a lot going on around here, a lot of animals, also lots of little baby animals. So. Um, you'll see that later on in the, in the video. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this and please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, you know what to do. Um, and let me know if you have any future video recommendations or what you want to see. So up first we feed our three dogs. We have Andy the healer, Carlos, oh that's a bit bright, one of our collies and Cleo, our other collie. I always ask them to sit and wait and then I say okay so all the chicken food and pig food and everything is kept in this big barn which makes it easier to have everything together so this is what we feed our chickens um, just peck and lay pellets they just get a few handfuls of these as they are free ranging so they do help themselves to like the pig food and other stuff lying around. So you can probably hear the pig screaming in the background, that means they're next. Um, they're just going to be getting some rotten avocados and some leftover scraps this morning. Um, sometimes we feed them pellets, however we've got enough food waste um, that we use. So yeah, not too pretty. Scraps. Avocados. And we have Andy, my sidekick, who's always looking for spare scraps on the ground. Aren't ya? To be fair, there is always rats that run around in here, so they always race in to try and find them. And if you say, Where's the rats? Where's the rats? They go crazy. Where are they, Andy? Where are they? Where's the rats? Where's the rats? They love finding rats. There's not that many rats, but you know, they might be the old one. Oh look, he's under there. Is he under there, Andy? Don't you get stuck? He did not get stuck. <laughs> come here, come out of there. Andy, come out. Come here. Come here. Oh, you almost got stuck. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And the craziness begins. The sheep are ready. The pigs are screaming. The dogs are ready <laughs> to chase the rabbits. <laughs> hey, you guys will get your food soon. And now we'll just get the little pigs some um, pellets. They can have that. And we also get a mix in this bag as well from taking any feeds. Hey little 
Superfigies. So these guys get fed in a separate area. Um, just because the big pigs pick on them a bit. So they can go into that rail there and get fed in here. We've also got these three chickens I bred myself who have claimed to be pigs. They just live with the pigs 24-7 and clean up all their scrap. So that's fine. Okay, so now that the pigs are done, on to the next animal, which are the sheep. You probably hear them over there, marring in the background. They don't need to be fed, however, we like to keep them friendly. And you'll see how friendly they are. It's pretty insane. We'll just go get the sheep food and then we'll go feed them. So I just feed the sheep these multi-feed nuts. I mean, they're pretty universal. Um, yeah, you can feed the cows them, but we use these grass ones um, for the little cows, which you'll see later on in this video. So yeah, if you're not confident with sheep, I would not recommend coming to see my sheep as they are super, super friendly. <laughs> so pretty much I keep a bucket um, to hand feed the friendly ones. It just makes it easier when we move them and stuff like that. Or we just tip it on the ground as well if we don't want to get um, covered in cheese. Um, they don't get fed, they just eat grass, but, um, yeah. So yeah, I do love having my sheep nice. Ah! <laughs> and I was just saying, hey, hey, that's okay, that's okay. Oh, God. <laughs> the dogs. The dogs are just checking on me. Hey, Cleo. Cleo, it's okay. It's okay. That's enough. Um, and I was just saying how I like my sheep friendly. Maybe a bit too friendly when you get bowled over in the paddock. I suppose they're not used to doing this whole camera thing, so. Yas. Hey girl. Hey, what's that? We also check the eggs um, each morning to see if anyone's laid. Oh, we have Miss Silky in there who is a bit broody. So she might not be too happy about us taking her eggs. Oh, we have three today. So we'll just grab those. Thank you, Missy. Thank you very much. Well, we do usually get more than three eggs, um, but since the chickens are free ranging at the moment, they kind of lay wherever they want to lay. Um, but that's okay. We will be building a chicken, a chicken, Pen, um, in the near future so make sure you subscribe to see that um, it's gonna be pretty cool I just had to quickly whip inside because I have a two-year-old boy um, Logan so I just had to get him sorted um, and now we're back to feeding the animals with you guys they get fed this chick starter crumble um, which just looks like this Oh, if the camera wants to focus. So here's the other chicken house. This has the older chicks in it.
these chickens are Aracana Frizzle Cross. So the mums are full Aracana and the roosters are Frizzle. You can see on the little chicks they've got um, frizzly feathers. So I'm trying to get into breeding the Frizzle Aracanas as the Frizzles have the frizzly feathers and the Aracanas lay the cool green eggs. So I think it would be quite a cool combination. Good boy, you feed the chicken. More. More? Don't mind his bare feet. He didn't feel like wearing gumboots this morning. <laughs> Good boy, you grab the food. Okay, bring it to mum. Bring it to mum. Thank you. We'll give it to the chickens. Now that the chickens are all fed, um, time to feed the horses. You can do it. Mama. Do you want mum to do it? Yeah. Look, I'll put it halfway. There you go, you push it, you shut it. You push it. Push here. Push. Woohoo! I thought I'd give you a super fast pan of the veggie garden just so you can see what's going to be in future videos. I love my veggie garden and all my fruit orchard down here. So yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're into growing your own food, veggie gardening, all things like that. So we walk down here and this is where our horses are at the moment. They're just in this back paddock here and the calves are next to them. So I usually feed the calves um, some pellets but this morning was a bit of a disaster with calves out, horses out. I wish I had my camera on me but I didn't. Um, so they have already been fed um, in their bins but I thought I'd just show you them anyway um, just so you can meet all the animals. Bow here is the lead mare, she's a bit of a bossy britches. Um, and then Izzy here we got about a year ago, um, she's such a sweetheart. Um, and then we have little Peanut over the back who, like I said before, is Logan's horse. Well eventually, Logan's only two and he's still learning all his balancing and things like that. So We take him riding with us still though, We, me and my husband um, ride the two bigger horses and Peanut just comes and follows behind us so he still has a great time. Should we go see the calves? Should we go see them? So last but not least we have our three Cherelet calves. These guys we've only just got them in the last few months. They're not super friendly yet. Excuse Cleo barking in the background. Oh if we want to focus. So yeah, these three girls have only been here for a couple of months. Um, they usually get some grow up pellets which I showed you earlier, um, but they got out this morning so they've already had their food. And we also give them molasses as well which they love. They're so beautiful. It's my first time owning Sherry Lay calves so I'm quite excited about it. Cleo in the background barking. Hey missus, is it because I left you on the other side of the gate? Hey, she wants me everywhere. Follow me everywhere, hey miss. Hey Kiel. Good girl. I also forgot we do actually have three bigger cows in the back paddock too, but it's a bit of a hike up there, so we'll leave them for another video. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it um, all the way to the end. Um, there will be a lot more videos like this in the future, I've got so much planned, lots of garden tours, um, even tours of like the pig pen, um, we've got our new chicken coop that we're building and things like that. And what was I saying before the toddler stole my quarter? Also do do calf rearing but it's the off season at the moment. 
so in April and about July I normally do about 80 carbs 80 carbs each um, season so yeah if you subscribe you'll get lots of calf rearing videos of course the piglets there's gonna be lots of piglets soon we've just sold them so unfortunately there's not any piglets in this video um, but they will be in pig at the moment due in about April I think so yeah stay tuned for lots of cute piglets calves um, and lambs of course all the sheep will be pregnant too so it's gonna be pretty chaotic here in spring so thank you guys for watching and have a great day see you later